Welcome to Adventure Moto Skills. I'm Coach Mike, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of my favorite standing riding exercises. The goal of these exercises is using our center of mass, our body weight, to help counterbalance and steer the bike when riding off-road. The second component is momentum control. How much throttle input is needed to help keep the bike stood up and riding while we're riding off-road. This is a follow-up video to our How to Ride Off-Road Motorcycle. Click here and watch that first so that you have the fundamentals of neutral standing riding posture dialed in before attempting some of these more dynamic exercises we're going to review here. This first exercise I like to call the two-wheel tango because we're going to be moving in harmony with the bike as we're driving along. We're going to be riding in first gear. First thing we're going to do, raise the left arm up. Come back down, lift that left leg out. If you're really flexible, you can get your hips a little bit higher than I can. The higher you come up, you might feel the bike veer offline. So give it a little bit more throttle. Maybe move your body weight around just a little bit. Left knee comes up to the seat. We're gonna switch. Put the right knee on the seat. Now we're gonna put both knees on the seat. Now what you can do to make this a little bit more challenging is ride kind of like a cone weave. It's especially more challenging as you are going off of a straight line in doing this is to then also be changing your body positioning. So now I'm gonna to turn to the right as I take my left foot down. Again, you just need to be really smooth with your throttle. You don't wanna be jerking and rolling on, just stay nice and steady. We're gonna bring the right leg over. Sit side saddle. Right foot goes on the left foot peg, and we're going to stand up. I'm going to raise that left leg out. You need to play in that friction zone sometimes. A little more acceleration, to slow it down. Now I'm going to transition back to standing. Gonna bring my left leg over. So now as I'm turning, I need to really kind of get my weight on that outside foot peg. I'm gonna sit down as I'm turning. Stand up. Let's make it fun and turn to the left now. So all my weight is on that right foot peg and I'm gonna turn to the right. So the bike is gonna lean, I need to get my body weight off that center line. And then sit back down, come back to neutral riding. Now, if you're new to riding off-road and you've got big heavy boots and a helmet, it can be a little disorienting at first to know exactly where your feet are and your peripheral vision's a little bit obscured. So you might wanna practice these movements first on the bike, on the center stand, in a stationary spot that's nice and safe before trying it while riding. I had started riding heavy touring bikes and rode those for about 10 years before I started riding adventure bikes. And in those 10 years of riding touring bikes, I never once stood up on the foot pegs. So the idea of standing while riding off-road was something that was very new to me. And it took some, pr some practice to get used to that. And I found this one to be very helpful in just getting familiar with how the body reacts as I'm standing and moving 